Hello, and welcome to another Behind the Sounds. Um, this is a series where I talk about my most recent uh, ambient release or ASMR release, whatever whatever I've put out. Generally, I put out um, one uh, track or album or EP on the first Friday of every month. That's pretty much my schedule. And uh, sometimes it's uh, more in the ambient realm, sometimes it's more in the ASMR realm, and sometimes it's kind of a combination of both. So uh, this month we are talking about my latest single, which is called Sky Runner. And um, it's, it's a very kind of floaty, spacey, ambient track, and uh, I'm really happy about it. So what I'm going to do is talk a little bit about it, and then we'll switch over, and I will show you some of the project file and what's going on there. Um, if you have any questions, please uh, leave them in the comments, and I'll be uh, happy to answer. So the working title for this track was Happier Space, and when I open up the project, you'll see that in the corner. Um, so happier space i originally i wanted to do something very space themed i hadn't really done a space themed ambient track in a little bit and um so that was kind of my focus and i started diving in and i got something that i that i enjoyed but it was a little dark it was darker than what i was really going for so I kind of said, okay, let me put that aside and try a different approach. So sometimes with creating, um, you have to kind of spin your wheels for a little, right? Just start getting the ideas out. Uh, start doing some creative things. And at some point, if you realize, you know what, this isn't what I wanted to do, or this isn't really what I'm trying to express right now. It's okay to wipe the slate clean. Um, that's just part of the creative process, is sometimes you have to work through things and then let them go. So that's what I did in this case. Um, so after I had tried to do something more electronic and spacey, uh, I thought, you know, let me change my focus and move to guitar. I only have one other uh, release that I've um, used guitar on at this point, and that was a track called Last Chance. Um, so I wanted to try uh, try guitar-based track, but to still kind of stay with the spaciness of it, um, I, I decided to use uh, an Ebo. So. Um, I'll show you that in a moment. So it kind of progressed, and I ended up with the name Skyrunner, um, which is uh, kind of a reference to a 90s video game, a Super Nintendo video game called Earth, mm -hmm, scary, called Earthbound. And uh, this was a game that was really important to me as a child and really influential um, on me and uh, I kind of sprinkle a few references to it wherever I can so um, my releases Your Sanctuary and Pink Cloud were also kind of thinly veiled references to that game and Skyrunner uh, and that game was a uh, uh, a time and space travel device. Uh, so, for any earthbound nerds, that's for you. But also, after I recorded it, I thought it was less space sounding and a little more sky sounding, a little more floaty in the clouds than being out in space. But I don't know, it's uh, um, whatever you go into thinking about it, uh, whatever you think about when you go into listening to it. I think kind of, I think it can maybe take you to different places. So, uh, as I said, this is recorded with an Ebo, 
which is something that I use on my Twitch stream pretty frequently. Um, what this does is it vibrates the strings on a guitar to produce something like a violin bow or a cello bow. Um, normally this is done on an electric guitar, and in fact on this track it's done on an electric, but if you're not familiar, I'll show you really quickly uh, using my acoustic guitar because uh, my electric's not plugged in, basically. It's complicated, so... So what you do is you turn it on and there's a blue light and you just put this blue light over uh, the string that you want to vibrate and push down and then you get a nice kind of ringing drone sound and on an electric guitar it's easier to kind of play uh, on an acoustic it's hard but you can kind of change notes and So yeah, that's what an ebow does. And um, so on this track, what I did, I decided that I wanted to have a chord progression. My track, Last Chance, has a chord progression, and it's really the only ambient track that has a really focused progression like that. So I wanted to try that again. And... Um, but instead of playing chords or, or notes, uh, what I'm doing is layering, um, layering different notes on top of each other in a single take to produce a long chord. So let me switch over to my FL Studio um, setup and I can show you that. Okay, here we are. Um, so you can see at the top here, let's just look at, let's just look at one section. So this is, well, this is what the whole, whole project looks like. And, um, it probably looks kind of like what you imagine when you hear the track, there are these swells. And so each one of these blue bars is a chord and where it moves up right here, this is where, uh, you can see the, the swells are. And then there's one more track uh, down here at the bottom that I'll that I'll show you it in a bit. Um, so you can see I started to label this one I called C major, and then I didn't label any of the rest of them. But it's doing sort of a simple pop kind of progression, really. And um, so when you hear it, it's if you're listening to just one chord in the track, it would sound like this. bring the volume up here. And then there's a little, it stops playing and then there's a little reverb tail and then it goes through the, the other notes um, in the progression. And basically as, as one note is ending, uh, or actually as one note kind of gets to its peak, um, and another note has already started. So that's how that goes, and I thought it might be interesting for you to hear what um, what a single uh, take uh, is. So this is just a long take of the uh, C major, and I'm, I'm kind of still down in a moment. Um, so what I did is 
because for each chord I just layered several Evo tracks with reverb and um, until I had completely felt good about the chord that I built up and then just cut it into these little little pieces here so it does it is enjoyable listening to it as one long uh, piece and if we wanted to hear a different different chord we could do that so this is uh, the second chord So it's kind of different hearing the chords in isolation. At first I thought maybe I would just do one long drawn out chord where it built up over time, but I would like to play more with um, progression and melody. So that's pretty much So, um, in addition to all of these, we also have, I thought it felt too, um, kind of quiet and stale with just the Ebo, and I wanted to add a little airiness to it, so I added a couple of tracks here. And this is, I'm bringing it up much louder than what you can hear in the actual track. It's about this quiet. But to demonstrate, um, this first one is a, there are two things here. One is this rain sound that is uh, going through a reverb. So if we take the reverb and the EQ off, and you can tell it's just a, it's a nice rain. But with the EQ and the uh, Convolver filter on, I'm sorry, the Convolver reverb, it's a very hazy, kind of washed out sound. And then the other track here is actually a sample from a uh, previous track called, uh, I think it's called Green tea and wooden frog, or tea bag and wooden frog. So this was an ASMR track that I'd done, and I just I liked the rain sound, kind of washed out, but I wanted a little more clicking and popping. So I have that, and then the uh, the reverb is also on there, so it makes kind of interesting swells in and out. And then with both of those together, it's just a nice airy kind of washed out sound at this volume you can kind of tell it says, sounds more like rain but with all the other instruments in uh, it's just kind of a nice airy sound so that's it that is skyrunner i hope you've enjoyed um please go check out the track on spotify bandcamp apple music um i just posted a visualizer video for it a few days ago so you can check that out right here on my youtube channel i hope you enjoy it and that's all i have to say about it so until next time